Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a journal flip through for you. This is my design team project for Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. And I used her festive frolics kit. And guys, this kit is absolutely ginormous. Um, there are so many pieces in this kit. I believe that there are 12 um, background pages and then I think there's something like, a, I don't, fifth, maybe 15 pages of um, like embellishments and, and that kind of thing. Um, it is huge. So I will um, link the, um, uh, I will put the link <laughs> to the listing um, in the description box below. Sorry guys, I am so out of practice with this. Um, Oscar finally went back to daycare today and I feel like a fish out of water. So um, I'm gonna try to get through this <laughs> in um, you know, a coherent manner. Um, anyway, um, so this is a Christmas journal as I'm sure you've already um, decided <laughs> by looking at it. Um, it is, I used the front and back covers um, of a 1976 copy of the McCall's Christmas book um, because I absolutely love this. I, I'm calling it a partridge only because I just keep thinking of the song, The 12 Days of Christmas. Um, however, you know, it's a bird and it's so pretty on this red. Um, so I used that book and then I created a, a three inch spine and covered it with some really pretty gingham um, red and green fabric. And then I did add some metal um, book corners just to give it, you know, a little more interest on the front. I didn't want to do too much to the cover um, because I did like, you know, I just kind of liked it in its, you know, simplicity. Um, there is a removable tassel and bead dangle here um, that I will show you real quick. So there's just all kinds of fun stuff in here. Um, there's beads and this like really pretty green tassel piece, some eyelash trim. Um, there are three charms here. We have a reindeer and I'll find it here, a candy cane and somewhere, here it is a little tiny itty bitty stocking. And then you've got some gold rick rack up at the top, um, you know, just different different ribbons and, and fun stuff. And then attached here are three little uh, red, green, and like frosted um, clear beads um, on some just waxed thread that I then put a garment pin through. And attached to the bulldog clip. So if you want this on the journal, you can leave it on or you can take it off um, and use it somewhere else or however you would like to do that. On the spine, um, as I was sewing in the three signatures, I um, just ran the, the thread through some buttons um, just to decorate it up a little bit. So you've got a couple Christmas trees and then some um, holly and ivy here and then just these really pretty um, buttons. So just something fun. And then uh, the closure is uh, just some sari silk. And I just ran that through some eyelets, some gold eyelets on the front and the back. And there's, there's the back. All right. And so I already said um, three signatures. It is approximately six and a quarter inches wide by nine and an eighth inches tall. I'm gonna try to keep the whole thing in frame here. Um, and then there are 239-ish pages um, front and back and lots of just fun Christmassy stuff. So let me try and keep it in frame here. So on the inside here, um, I had this like ornament, I guess, that came in a book um, that I had uh, purchased at Ollie's, um, I think last Christmas. So I just glued that down inside the cover here because I thought it was cute and it just kind of takes away the, the stark white of the inside a little bit. And then we have Tina's gorgeous pages and I just uh, sewed some 
um, lace onto the front of each of each signature this was a fussy cut or well not really fussy cut it's a circle that comes in the kit and then these words are all from uh, Tim Holtz and then um, I added just a, a stamp that I had in my stash but this little puppy reminds me of Oscar I, I just love that I think that's so cute <laughs> All right, and then the backs of all of Tina's pages, I have printed her, um, it's the last page in the backgrounds, and it's it just reminds me of like drifting snow or maybe like the, you know, like the fur on Santa's jacket, but um, I just, I love how that looks. And then this is one of the pieces from the kit, and then I added another word there. This is a page from this particular book. And then I added one of the pieces from the kit up at the top again, and then a little word there. I used a red doily here, and this was a sticker I had in my stash. And then this is um, one of the many journaling cards that come in the kit. And then this is tea dyed paper, and then there's coffee dyed paper in here as well. And then on this side, this is a little stamp from the kit. Look at that puppy. How cute is he? And then another journaling card here. And all of the all of the pieces have that background printed on the back as well. And then this is an Edith Holden page, mistletoe, and then some pretty birds at a bird feeder on the other side. Just some tea dyed paper here. This is some vintage sheet music from a Christmas book of music, obviously. <laughs> this is one of the pieces from the kit. And then another page from the kit and a fussy cut Santa that I just put on the front there. And then here, um, I'm just trying to, okay, there we go. I took some of Dee Dee's gorgeous coffee dyed um, time cards that I had purchased from her in the past. And I created a little, um, a very large actually, um, tuck spot here. And this is a Tim Holtz little girl. And then this is a piece from the kit. And I just kind of glued it so it looks like she's holding that. And then some masking paper and a little, um, like seam binding, um, rough or not seam binding. It's, um, yeah, seam binding ruffle. I think, uh, and yeah, I, my words are escaping me. I apologize. <laughs> um, I just cut this little, um, piece out with a punch and kind of turned it into a tab of sorts. This is a fussy cut piece from the kit. And then behind that is one of Dee Dee's gorgeous tags that she sent me with her lovely decoupaged napkin on the front and then you've got um space to write on the back i just i abs i didn't do anything to it because i thought it was just gorgeous the way it is and it actually kind of sticks out the top but i don't mind that there's some graph paper here and then a piece from the kit and then this was a piece of paper i'm i'm assuming it's handmade um i received it in a swap I've got some player piano paper here and I just folded it over and created a little pocket on the side here. And this is one of the pieces from the kit. And then I added um, a recipe card that was in that book I have of Christmas in the 1700s. And I just added that in there. It's not actually from the 1700s, obviously. <laughs> um, some coffee dyed notebook paper another background page from the kit and I just layered that up with some Tim Holtz um, like little labels and then one of the words it says ornament this is another Tim Holtz piece this is some red graph paper I had in my stash and then on the back is um, a glassine envelope that I had coffee dyed and then turned into a triple pocket and then these are pieces um, from the kit and then they have the, the snowy background. This is some of that gorgeous um, tinsely eyelash trim that Dee Dee sent me. And then I just created this one out of some um, ivory cardstock and added Santa at the bottom. That is a piece from the kit and some of Dee Dee's um, red eyelash trim. And then uh, this is the fabric that I used on the spine and I just added it there uh, to give it a little bit of decoration and then one of the fussy cut pieces from the kit there on the front and then this is just some notebook paper I coffee dyed um this is a Tim Holtz piece 
and I just attached it with a glittery red brad so you can twist that out of the way and write underneath it for secret writing. And then I just covered the brad on the back with a fussy cut poinsettia from the kit. This is a vintage um, pattern for making little felt people. And I just folded it up and turned it into a pocket. And oh, this is my favorite piece in this kit. It was gonna go on the front, but then I found this book, so it didn't make it onto the front. But how absolutely gorgeous is that lady? I, I, I love that piece to pieces. <laughs> um, some vintage, vintage ledger paper. And then this is one of the pockets from the kit and I just um, attached um, a fussy cut wreath also from the kit onto the front. And then another journaling card is in there. Look at this gorgeous page. And then um, this was sent to me um, in an order I had made uh, for some vintage um, ephemera. And this it, this is not vintage. I think it was printed out, but it was just like a little extra piece that I got and I found it in my stash. So I just made a pocket out of it for this cute journaling card with that little puppy. And then these were some cards I had in my stash of angels. And then this is a piece from the kit and a Tim Holtz word. This is some coffee dyed paper that I used a plastic um, tablecloth to, um, you know, get a design. And then I altered some bingo cards, some vintage bingo cards that I had um, with pieces from the kit and some really pretty green lace. And then I just created a very simple journaling card. It's just one of Dee Dee's coffee dyed index cards and all I did was staple um, some really pretty Christmassy polka dot ribbon to the top corner. And then this is a page from a book. Um, it's called A Small Miracle, I believe. And I believe the story, this lady doesn't have any money um, and she's trying to earn some money by playing music. And I think she's trying to fix up a nativity scene at a church. And, um, you know, she needs money to do that, but nobody's giving her any. So it's kind of sad, but then it has a happy ending. <laughs> and then I just made a fabric flip here with um, some, um, it's not seam binding, it's bias tape. Bias tape, you know, it's kind of the same thing, but it's a little different. <laughs> and some glittery gold tulle. And then this really pretty vintage uh, Christmas fabric that I had gotten at an estate sale. And there's some more of the coffee dyed paper that I made. And then um, here we have one of these Tim Holtz index clips. And I need to thank Tracy Fox um, because she recently did a video where she used these and did not realize that they had like an oily substance inside. Um, and they kind of discolored what she clipped them onto. Um, luckily, I had not used them yet before I saw her video. Um, and I knew that that was maybe a thing. So I like ran some paper underneath it so that I wouldn't, um, wouldn't have the same problem. So thank you, Tracy Fox. And then this is an envelope from the kit that I added a stamp and one of those Tim Holtz words to. And this is a Tim Holtz piece. And this is a poinsettia fussy cut from the kit. And I just want to make sure that I don't, there we go. Inside, I just put a couple little pieces from the kit. Look how cute those are. <laughs> a little stamp piece and a little label. All right. And then that just clips on to the other side of this uh, greeting card, like so. And then this was one of the belly bands in the kit and I added some green ribbon and some gold rickrack uh, just to decorate that up a little bit. And there's that gorgeous lady again on that circle tag. I love this image. And then the other side of that pattern, another, you know, just little pocket. And I just, oops, I guess we'll leave that upright. Added that little card there. And um, this is a Tim Holtz piece and I just added a brad, you know, just to the top there and glued that down. This is a uh, like coin envelope that comes in the kit and it, um, one of the postage stamps that comes in the kit. And I just added some of that gold glittery tool behind the stamp. And then um, there's a journaling card inside. 
And then I did add um, this green and white striped washi, I think you can see it there, to the player piano paper because, you know, it, it has holes, obviously. Um, and, you know, I was just trying to reinforce it a bit. And then there's the other side of that gorgeous paper. And another piece from the kit. And this label, also from the kit. And then I just added this gorgeous fussy cut piece um, inside um, this image on this background page. Some more vintage music, the other side of it anyway. The other side of that Edith Holden page. And on the back, because there wasn't a whole lot here, I added um, a Tim Holtz um, stitch pocket die cut thingy. Um, and then I added a whole bunch of tiny little pieces um, from the kit in there. I love using these for like these pockets for like little bits and pieces. Oh, I also used um, a few pieces from Tina's Matchbox um, digital. So it's it scans of vintage Matchbox tops. Um, so those are in here too. I just picked out ones that kind of, you know, looked Christmassy or red and green. And then I've got some more pieces here. And then this larger piece in the back. And finally, one of the tags from the kit. I just added some of that ribbon to the top. Whoops. And that just slides in there. And then this is the other, page, the other side of that book page. I just used a Tim Holtz um, tiny clip. And this is actually a vintage kind of... Um, I guess a piece of stationery or a card, but it, it flips this way. Um, so I just turned it into um, a flip down. But I actually have scanned this and a few other pieces and I have a digital kit in my Etsy shop right now um, of some, some vintage ephemera and some Christmassy vintage trims. So you can check that out if you're interested. This piece also came from the lovely Dee Dee and I just, tucked a piece from the kit in there and that's the first signature I love this page absolutely love it I've got green um, lace on this one this is a piece from the kit that I turned into a belly band for this little piece of ephemera another page from this book and I just added this cute little stocking with the kitties it was fussy cut from the kit another Edith Holden page about December Joy to the World music. Um, I use this postcard that has um, just a bunch of ornaments on it to make a flip out. And then I just added this vintage um, fabric ribbon here. And then this is actually cut out from the box that Dee Dee sent my um, cigarette cards in. So I added that and then just tucked a little circle tag of Santa behind that. This is a piece from the kit. This is some more paper that I received in that swap. I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then this is the beginning of the piano paper roll um, that I cut the paper from. And I just, I loved how it still had the little leather pull on it um, and the metal here, the little tab. Um, so what I did is I folded up the bottom uh, to create a pocket. So on this side, it's kind of a diagonal pocket I added this piece from the kit to kind of help hold everything together and then just added a journaling card behind there. And then you'll see the other side in a minute. Another page from the kit and then another belly band from the kit. And this is a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera and some little um, bling there on that belly band. And then another one of these glassine bag pockets. So you've got that gorgeous lady again and this piece from the kit, and then another just tag from some ivory cardstock with a fussy cut piece at the bottom. I need, we're going down to Florida for Thanksgiving and we're gonna have to go to that diner because I'm quickly running out of the silverware bags <laughs> that I like to use. Um, this is a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera. This was just um, like a vintage ad for some uh, needle craft um, things that you, you know, crafts that you could buy and send for through the mail, I believe. This is a vintage, um, like 
Christmas card, I'm guessing. Um, this is another one that I scanned and is in my digital kit in my shop. So, but this is the original. So that will be in this journal. Um, this again was a piece, I think Dee Dee might've sent this to me actually, um, when I first met her and I added that and then I just made a little, I took this tassel, um, which was on the end of something. Um, and I attached it to a Tim Holtz paper clip just to hold everything together because it's not, I, this is like, it, um, it was like a, a card. So you would fold it up and then tape it. So I basically put glue on the ends here to make this a pocket, but this kind of doesn't stick in there real well. This is a piece from the kit. So I just added this to kind of hold everything together. Plus it's cute because it's a tassel. <laughs> And then another pocket from the kit, and this is a fussy cut piece from the kit. And a journaling card inside there. Another angel greeting card. Oh, there we go, some glue there. Um, this is a banner from the kit. Some more coffee dyed paper and a piece from the kit there. Another altered bingo card. And then I made this um, tag on one of the three and 30 alphabet challenge videos um, on embossing, so letter E, which actually I think was the last one you saw. Um, I'm going to film F today, but that just slides back there. Added some um, sort of like iridescent rickrack on the side, um, a fussy cut little finial from the kit, and then this gorgeous little puppy in his stocking. And then here we are with more of this book page. And obviously you're not getting the whole story, but these are the little wise men from the, the nativity that she's trying to fix up. And this is Mary holding baby Jesus and she's comforting her and keeping her company um, while she sleeps. And the wise men are going out and trying to um, fix up her her place. So they go to a pawn shop or um, a store and they're, they've got their, um, their goods here that they're going to trade um, the shopkeeper. I just, I think this book is super cute. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I think we're getting a glare. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can. Nope. That's not coming from there. Where's that coming from? Oh gracious. I don't know. Anyway, let me try and if I, uh, you can probably see it well enough. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Another little fabric flip. Um, same way as before. This is just a different piece of the fabric. Um, it's a Christmas tree. And then <clears throat> this entire piece, um, minus the little Tim Holtz piece that I added at the bottom was given to me in a swap and it was made by, I believe, Jennifer Litton, I believe is her name, L-I-T-T-O-N. Her name was on the back. I should have written it down, but I did not create this. Um, I just added the Tim Holtz ephemera, um, but I thought it was super pretty and went very well with this kit. So I just added that in there. Another one of Dee Dee's gorgeous time cards that she dyed. I love this green color. I added some more Tim Holtz little paper dolls there. Um, there is a Tim Holtz um, Christmas ephemera piece behind them, some ribbon at the bottom, a little joy um, metal piece up here, and then another, um, <clears throat> excuse me, recipe card inside. And then just um, a fussy cut piece from the kit on the back of that um, vintage stationery piece. And then this was just a piece of red paper that I chomped the corners and added some vintage um, fabric ribbon to the top and slid in that pocket there. And then you can see the needle craft kit pieces back here. And then um, this is an envelope from the kit that I added um, a fabric or a seam binding ruffle to and some little gold. These were given to me by Lisa. And it's actually like a coin envelope. So that's why I didn't glue it down. And then I just have a journaling card inside there. And I just use this curly Q paper clip to clip it onto the page. There we go. And then this is just a piece from the kit. I glued to the top there. And whoops, did I skip the page? Nope, okay. Um, then this is the other side of the player piano paper that I made the pocket and I glued on um, a, you know, just a, this is ribbon that I made into a, sewed it into a ruffle, 
a piece from the kit and then I took a guest check and added a sticker to it and some of this uh, just green ribbon at the top. And then um, I made a doily tuck corner pocket here with a, um, that's a postage stamp. My brain just left me. And then I just tucked a couple red raffle tickets inside <laughs> that I had. I have a huge roll of those. So whenever I need something red, um, I just use this piece to make a tuck. And again, some of Dee Dee's um, coffee dyed index card and then some Santa um, hem tape or, um, bias tape. I, my brain is completely shutting down today. I apologize. I love this image. Those kitties. All right. And then we've got the next Tim Holtz pocket here. This is a piece from the kit and these are pieces um, from the kit. And then these are matchbox tops and um, more pieces from the kit here. Whoops, that's upside down. And then this is, <laughs> I'm just gonna throw things across the room. Oh my goodness. Um, this is a vintage card that I was given in Happy Mail, I believe. Um, but it says a Christmas carol on the top and it's obviously Charles Dickens and has some of his other works. And I just thought that went perfect because it was, you know, Christmassy. So I added that in there. And then um, this is just a card from the kit that I added some ribbon to the top to make a bit of a tag. And there you go. And that's um, the Edith Holden page. And then another little banner from the kit, the other side of that book page. This is a large, <clears throat> excuse me, matchbox top from um, Tina's kit. And then this is just an index card. And then I added just this Tim Holtz little label to the top. And that is the end of the second signature. And now we're on to the third. I'm trying to stay in frame here. All right, um, I added these Santas to the front of this page. Um, this is a bingo card that comes in the kit. And I just added some fabric, the vintage fabric ribbon and um, a stamp that I had. This was also given to me in a swap. I do not know who made it. Um, but it was awfully cute, so I added that. Another page from the book. Uh, another label from the kit. Uh, Edith Holden page. Another pocket from the kit. This is a sticker that I put on a, I think this is a Tim Holtz, um, like circular label. And then I layered some fluffy um, yarn and some eyelash trim underneath that. And then there's a journaling card inside. This was more paper that I received in that swap. A piece from the kit. I used some of that raffle, those raffle tickets to reinforce the edge of this page because it was quite holy, <laughs> as you can see. And then this is actually covering up um, just a spot that had sort of started to tear. Um, and I just wanted to reinforce it. And again, you have the, the washi tape and that is glued on. So it's, it should stay permanently. Um, just a little journaling spot banner from the kit. And then the last of the glassine bag um, pockets here. So this is a tag from the kit. This is just a gift tag that I had in my stash. And then this I made just with ivory cardstock and added the fussy cut piece to the bottom. Alrighty, more notebook paper, um, little angel pattern, and then I uh, just added this fussy cut piece and this fussy cut Santa to that there, and then you have another recipe card. And then another doily tuck here, and that's just a sticker. And this is a piece from the kit on that side. Another angel card. A piece from the kit, 
And then the last bingo card, I've got some fussy cut points that is at the top, a little ruffle at the bottom, and a fussy cut piece there. And then this is a tag from the kit that I added a ruffle as um, a tab. And then it's another page from the book. The little wise men are going to the grocery store. <laughs> it's just so cute. <laughs> I don't know. I love it. Look at them. They're trying to, to get stuff into their cart. And I'm trying to show you without the glare. Another fabric flip here. And then um, another envelope and an index. Oh, see, but that didn't work. Look what it did. Oh, okay. That's a real bummer because these are the Tim Holtz ones and you don't expect that kind of thing to happen, right? when you pay for Tim Holtz stuff. Anyway, I added a little ruffle here and a little green bow, um, this little circle on the back, and then this is a Tim Holtz ephemera piece uh, to tuck your flap into. And then in here is a piece of uh, stationery from Tina's kit that I printed onto tea dyed paper. Oh, I'm really bummed out about that, guys. I'm so sorry. I hope that whoever um, purchases this doesn't mind. <laughs> oh, that's such a bummer. I just, you pay, you know, you pay a decent amount of money for um, Tim Holtz stuff and you don't expect it to um, do that kind of thing. I'm just kind of irritated. Anyway, there's nothing I can do about it now. All right, so this is another of Dee Dee's um, coffee dyed time cards, and this is a Christmas tree. I think it's Tim Holtz. It's a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera. And then this little boy is also Tim Holtz um, with his little ice skates. I made a fabric ruffle here, and then I added a bunch of colorful flat back pearls to decorate my tree and a star at the top, a metal star at the top. And then there's a metal bell up here that I just ran some um, red and white baker's twine through. And then another of Dee Dee's gorgeous, gorgeous decoupage tags with the poinsettias. And I did add a finial to the top of this one from the kit. Lots of writing space back there. And we're almost done, guys. Um, two pieces. I've got a journaling card and a circle tag in this pocket. And then this is a piece from the kit. And then the last um, belly band, and I added some of this pearl trim. And then this is a bingo card from the kit and some um, ruffle at the top for a little tab. And then this is, I believe, Tim Holtz ephemera um, piece from the kit. And then the other of the vintage little um, greeting card thingies that I made into a flip down. This one, I added some green um, ribbon to the bottom just to reinforce the, the, um, the fold here. The other one, I used a sticker. I'm not sure if you noticed that or not, but I did. I added like a gold um, sticker. And then that is just held in place, the little paper clip. And other side of the Edith Holden, and then the final um, Tim Holtz pocket. So these two I created myself. Um, this one's just plain red with the fluffy um, trim. And then these tickets come in the kit. I think all of these pieces are from the kit. Oh, this is, um, this is actually one of the match boxes. And I just thought that was cute because it has like a, let me see if I can get it to focus. And then like, if I can get it into frame, Emily, <laughs> it has a deer on it. So I thought it was Christmassy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I will get back into the swing of things. I promise. <laughs> yep. There we go. All right. So let's see if I can somehow arrange these the way they were to begin with. Probably not, but you know, we'll do our best. Oh, 
All right. There we go. Oh, goodness. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay. And then the other side of that book page with those cute ornaments, a pocket from the kit and a piece from the kit that I cut out and then added some ribbon to. And then this is the other stationary piece on tea dyed paper. And I believe that is it. Um, this is one of the gorgeous um, index card fabric quilted pieces that Dee Dee sent me. So I turned it into a pocket here on the back. Um, I had one of these, you know, like index dividers um, and it happened to have a 25 on it. So it was, you know, to me it was Christmassy. And I added um, just the red doily on the bottom. And then on the inside, you just have some tea dyed paper for writing. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed making it. Um, it may be the final Christmas journal that I make this year. I am, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to have time um, to make any more. I, I wanted to, that was my intention, um, but you know how time gets away from you. And then the puppy was home for a week and a half and I really, didn't get a whole lot done. Um, but you will see what happens. But this will be listed in my Etsy shop um, by the time this video uploads. So if you are interested in purchasing that, you can go check that out. The link is in the description box below. Um, yeah, I'd love it if you gave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, and I'd love if you, um, you know, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will be back soon because I am going to um, go ahead and film the next 3 and 30 challenge. Um, that might actually upload before this video, so that's going to sound quite odd to you. But hey, that's how YouTube works, right? <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.